left eerily vacant for years, these former celebrity homes have fascinating tales to tell. Once the luxury retreats of the rich and famous, an extraordinary series of events lead each one to be abandoned, including reports of corruption, protracted legal battles, and even an alleged cult takeover. Prince Andrew's Sunning Hill Park. Despite Prince Andrew's many high-profile troubles, it has often been said that he was the late queen's favorite child. In 1986, she gifted her now-disgraced son and his wife, Sarah, Duchess of York, a 665-acre parcel of land on the Sunning Hill Park estate in Berkshire following their wedding that same year. Completed in 1990, this property was dubbed South York and the Dallas Palace due to its uncanny resemblance to the ranch house in the 1980s TV show of the same name. Other commentators likened it to an out-of-town supermarket. A 12-bedroom mansion was designed featuring grand reception rooms, stables, and a swimming pool, and construction work began on the site in 1987. Far from a stately home, this was to be a modern mansion with all the mod cons to accommodate their growing family and style. In December 2013, planning permission was granted to replace the rundown royal residence with a sprawling manor, but demolition work didn't begin until 2015. A far cry from the British royal family's grand private homes, the eyesore was eventually reduced to rubble in 2016. A shiny new mansion has taken shape in its place. Michael Jackson's Neverland Ranch. Before his fall from grace, Michael Jackson teamed up with Paul McCartney to record Say 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 in 1983. The former Beatle stayed at Sycamore Valley Ranch in California when the pair were recording the single's music video, and after visiting McCartney there, Jackson fell in love with the place, promising to buy it someday. Some years later in 1988, when the King of Pop hit 30, he acquired the American estate for an estimated 15.6 million pounds, 19.5 million dollars. Jackson renamed the property Neverland after the magical island in Peter Pan and set about creating his very own amusement park. The singer had two railways and a station built to complement the six-bedroom Tudor-style mansion that came with the property and installed a petting zoo and numerous amusement rides. Neverland had everything from a Ferris wheel and pirate ship ride to a carousel and bumper cars. Jackson hosted glittering events at the ranch, including the 1991 wedding of his close friends, Elizabeth Taylor and Larry Fortensky, and often invited children to stay, sometimes without their parents or legal guardians. Needless to say, Jackson's behavior raised suspicions. Neverland was ransacked by police when allegations came to light and the singer was charged with child abuse in 2003. Jackson was eventually cleared of all charges, though 2019's harrowing Leaving Neverland documentary has raised fresh allegations. Drowning in debt, the disgraced singer struggled to hold on to the property, and Neverland Ranch was shut down in 2006. After Jackson defaulted on the ranch's mortgage, investment firm Colony Capital bought a majority stake in Neverland in 2008 for 18 million pounds, $22.5 million. Following Jackson's passing in 2009, the property fell into disrepair. Neverland was put up for sale several times over the past few years, but has proved difficult to sell. Mike Tyson's Deserted Lavish Mansion Mike Tyson snapped up this glitzy, confiscated mansion in Southington, Ohio at a sheriff's sale in 1989 for the bargain price of 240,000 pounds, $300K. The former heavyweight champion boxer spared no expense on the magnificent five-bedroom mansion, which was decked out with an enormous pool, two massive kitchens, three cages for Tyson's expensive Bengal tigers, copious amounts of marble, crystal chandeliers, and zebra print carpets. Whether the mansion is cursed or not is anyone's guess, but three of its owners have ended up behind bars. And with that, we have reached the end of today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our sharp insights and tips. Drop a comment below. We love hearing from you.